I welcome all of you for MSC videos. It's time to learn. So in this session, we are going to discuss about 2D geometric transformation. What is meant by a transformation? If you are having any object, changing the object orientation, size or shape is defined as a 2D transformation. You can change the position of an object or size of an object or you can change the shape of the object that's what we are saying as a 2d transformation so there are different kinds of transformations are there translation scaling rotation reflection sharing translation scaling rotation are basic transformation and reflection and sharing is some advanced transformation so first of all we are going to discuss about what is meant by translation changing the position of an object along a straight line path is defined as a translation. So let's consider if we are having a point located at 2 comma 3. Now after translation, now the same point which is located at 4 comma 5. Now we are translating this point in a straight line path is defined as a translation. To perform this translation, we need translation vector or shift vector. For a 2D object, translation vector Tx is translation value in x-axis and Ty translation value in y-axis. Original position is x, y. After translation, to differentiate that, we are mentioning it as x dash, y dash. This is the formula to perform translation. The new location of x is identified by using x plus Tx. So x dash equal to x plus Tx and similarly y dash is equal to y plus Ty original point p of p equal to x comma y translation vector t t x comma t y translated point p dash equal to x dash comma y dash normally all these transformations are performed by using matrix representation so p dash equal to t plus p so this is what we are going to say it's a translation formula so x dash y dash equal to t x t y plus x y so it's a matrix representation of a matrix representation for a translation so let us discuss an example for this. Perform a translation for the point located at 2, 1 with the help of translation factor 3, 2. So we know that P of x, y the original location of the point 2, 3 and Tx equal to 3, Ty equal to 2. Translation vector 3, 2 which means that translation in x axis is 3, y axis is 2. So this is the original location. Point is located at 2, 1. Now after translation, we know that p dash equal to t plus p. So this is a formula for performing translation. So x dash y dash equal to 3, 2 plus 2, 1. So the value is 5, 3. So after translation, now the, now the point is located at 5, comma 3. So let's discuss another one example. Consider a line 2, comma 2 to 5, comma 5 and perform translation with minus 2, comma minus 2. So this is the line. A line is ranging from 2 comma 2 to 5 comma 5 so we are not going to worry about the next point we consider the interval between x and y values are 1 so we consider delta x equal to 1 and delta y equal to 1 so the points are 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5 so tx is minus 2 and ty is also minus 2 so this is the line so original line which is given 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5 and we know that p dash equal to t plus p and this is the formula for performing translation and this is what we are going to identify. So P1 dash equal to T plus P1. I am identifying the new value of P1. And this is P2. And this is P3. And this is P4. And actually P1 is P1 dash is 0 comma 0. So this is actually the origin point. This P2 dash 1 comma 1. P3 dash 2 comma 2. And P4 dash is 4 comma 4. So after translation line is moved to the origin. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching my channel. Thank you.